Welcome back to the Total Drama Series Ranking. In the last episode, we counted down the bottom four seasons from the Total Drama Show, and they were bad. Now, we're here and we're going to be done with the confessional because we're going to the top four seasons, I should say, of the Total Drama Series. So, we're going to jump into it right here, right now, on Total Drama Series Ranking. Welcome back to this episode of the Total Drama Series Ranking. And this is the finale, the big way to end it all. And we're starting up with the season that's in the number fourth spot, The Redonkulous Race. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Don't leave me hanging! Now, The Redonkulous Race is a Total Drama spin-off with very few characters from the original series reappearing in the show. And it's really good. I didn't think it'd be that much fun. The characters are really enjoyable. The humor was there. The kind of activities they did, the events, the places they went, which was really fun and entertaining to see. They were all there and I really loved it. There were a few problems with the writing and the ending of the finale was a little hit and miss because I don't think uh, the surfer bro should have been there. I think it should have been the ice skaters because they were really good characters and really good villains. Oh, whatever, Brody is like, oh, he wants to get with MacArthur but then that never actually happens in the finale or anything Brody just kind of looks past it and goes on so it's it's really messy there but otherwise I really enjoyed the whole thing with Kitty um, Noah and Owen those groups are uh, the haters I really love them the goths they're so much fun there are just so many great characters in this uh, Redonkulous race itself I really wish they could do a second season and bring more characters from other seasons into it and newer characters because there are a lot more teams that could be formed but overall this is such a good season and being a spin-off it's ranking pretty high up in this list itself so now we move on into the top three who do you think is going to be number one? I already know, it's always been my favourite. I don't know if you'll be able to figure it out from me saying that, but coming into the number third spot, we have Total Drama Action. Now, Total Drama Action has one of my favourite jokes out of like the entire series. It's Maybe it's because I really appreciate it now as being someone who actually studies film, but I love this joke. It's so funny. Check it out. Grip? I don't want to be a grip. Please. It's not like being called a gaffer is something to brag about. It sounds like something that has rabies. I'm sick and tired of getting no respect around here. Hey, since we're running late now and don't seem to have any more, um, whatever those two crew dudes did. Yeah, so I, at first point, when I watched it when I was a kid, I never really understood it. And then now looking back, I'm like, what? This is so good. And that's one thing I loved about action. Something about it was just so much fun. But at the same time, there are a lot of problems with the character writing itself. This is where Gwen's character really went downhill. Her thing with Trent, which was so cool to see. I always loved and admired Trent. I'll talk more about that when I get to Ireland. But their relationship really went downhill. Their characters really went downhill. And then Lashona as well. Look, I was never a big fan of Lashona and she didn't do all that much in Total Drama Island. So her being that bad in action didn't hurt as much as Gwen and Trent. But other than that, we got to see Harold be in the limelight. Beth, kind of. Uh, like she won a version, but she shouldn't have. It should have been Lindsay, as a lot of people say. And Lindsay, you know, Admiral Lindsay, her hotness, as she likes to be called, should have been in the top two with Duncan. But other than that, this series is really good just in getting some of the limelight. It was such a fun season. And, you know, it has its problems, sure, but it's definitely not bad. So, bringing us to the number two spot, we have the OG itself, which a lot of people might not like me for putting it here, Total Drama Island. Excuse me, I have to go to the bathroom. Now, Total Drama Island obviously started everything off and it was a huge hit. The way it just parodies the whole uh, reality TV spoof and everything is, is just so good to see and you can't help but love it. The one problem is that a lot of the characters are very one-dimensional or sidelined and that does carry on for a bit throughout later seasons but at the same time, you know, at this point you can see, oh, this person's getting some character development, they're gonna go. Or they're focusing on this person, they're gonna go. 
Um, it really underutilized Noah, which was really who got like more of the limelight in um, World Tour and then also Redonkulous Race. But there were so many other characters which could have been better. They brought Eva back, and then she just goes in the next episode that she's back anyway. Uh, there's a lot of things that are just hit and miss in this show. And I see a lot of people say that Chris McCain is like the most sane in this season, and he gets more insane in every season that comes. But then in this season, he feeds them bull's te testicles, he makes them jump off cliffs. He does so many stupid and ridiculous things in this season that I don't think it's bad that, that he's got more insane. I think that he just got more over the top, and I don't think it's a bad thing. Overall, Island is so good. Trent, he was my favorite character. Him and Gwen, I love them both. They were like the top two there for me. Heather was such a good villain. She's one of my favorite characters, and she has been since I saw whatever number one is. You already know that by now. I was like, ah, oh, yeah, Trent, he's my man. I play guitar just like him. I'm a ladies. Uh, I, I wear shirts just like him. No, but no, he was really cool. He was one of my favorite. He was my favorite character from Total Drama Island. Like I said, in action, he's character character really goes downhill. But overall, Island was such a huge success, it brought on so many other seasons and it started everything you can't help but love, the ridiculous things that happens in this season and how much fun it is to actually see it all. So that brings us to the number one season, my personal favourite season of the Total Drama series and that is Total Drama World Tour. <laughs> Oh my god, yes, that I just did that. Total Drama World Tour is my number one season of the Total Drama series. I've loved this season since I was a kid when I first watched it. Um, and it was so much fun. Like the whole musical aspect was such a new different thing and another parody that they could do. And but it was so well done. Like it had so much character development and it had so much story in such a short amount of time that it really just moves everything along and gets the story going and characters moving to places, which I really loved and they were catchy as hell. And call me weird, but I always just found that the Oh Izzy song by Owen was so emotional. Like, oh man, every time I hear that I'm like Oh man, it's hitting me right in the feels. And then the same thing with the um, Al and Heather song. Oh, this is how we're gonna end it. I sang that so much. Ah, oh, the So Sorry by Bridget. So many good songs in this season itself and so many emotional moments that I just found myself like hooked onto. On top of that, my favorite character came from this season, uh, Alejandro. You know, he's always gonna be my number one character. He was slightly ruined in All Stars, but no matter what, Alejandra is up there. Heather as well made me love Heather even more. She was a great villain in one, underutilized in action, but then in World Tour, man, her and Alejandro, you know, they're the ship I'm for. And then on top of that, you have Guanquin, Gwen and Duncan. Like, I saw that stuff coming. I have no problem with them being together. Um, it gets worse in All Stars, but then in this itself, I don't think it's all that bad. It could have been better, but it's not terrible by far. It's not terrible. You have the DJ curse, which isn't the best, but then you have all these places that they're going to. Sierra and Cody, it's so much fun to see. Yes, he does get carried, but at the same time, you know, I've got no problem with that. He's playing the game, you know, he's taking advantage of what he can. And yeah, there are some points where he doesn't even realize he's being taken, taking advantage of Sierra and everything, but he's playing a game. So that's how it is. Overall, I think this season is so good. It's so much fun. I remember when I first finished this season, I was like singing the songs all the time. I recorded myself, like even my sister knows I have like voice recordings of it and everything. I got the total drama world to a game. So it's like one where you're falling from the airplane, you got to move about and stuff. There are all these kind of stuff I remember getting and remember doing because I loved World Tour all that much. And, you know, World Tour is such a great season. I think it's the best season of the Total Drama series. So that's the number one season of Total Drama. That brings us to the end of the Total Drama series rankings. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you've liked the video, left a comment and have shared it with your friends. Without further ado, let's bring this series to an end. I'm your host, Kirtan Singh. And until next time, I'll see us. <laughs> <laughs>